also known as Jackson class cylinder. This was introduced by Edward Jackson in 1887. This test is subjective test. In JCC we should know which is plus or which is minus. For that we keep white dot at 180 and move vertically that vertically that is up and down and observe the movement so you, you all can see this it is moving with so this is minus side and when we reverse this and now move again up and down you can see this uh, it is moving up opposite moment so this is the plus lens thing should be keep in the mind before perform jcc first thing with jcc we can refine axis as well as cylinder power both second always refine axis first then go for the power third target should be given two line lesser than best corrected visual acuity that means if patient can read 6 by 6 in subjective he can go for the target for 6 by 12 line if patient can read only 6 9 there is no improvement then you can give your target as 6 by 18 fourth thing many book says that fogging is required but practically it is not compulsory now let us uh, refine the axis of the cylinder power for that what we have to do uh first thing what we have to do it is like we have to align the handle of jcc to the axis of cylinder power it, it is exactly like this okay so you can see this handle handle is parallel to axis so we have to ask the patient to observe the target line one or two letters not all one or two letters here just understand that we are not keeping this line to the axis we are keeping handle to the parallel to the axis okay so now we have to ask that which this is good or this one so you have to show that position 1 and position 2 and observe the patient response if patient says both are not clear both look blurred that means given in subjective power given axis in the subjective is correct e patient says that one position side is getting slightly better another is slightly blurred that means given axis in the subjective refraction it is wrong so in that case we have to refine the proper axis for that what we have to do we will ask the patient and observe that which side is getting better so friend you should know this this is the minus one and this is the plus one red dot here the white is minus and the red is plus and this lens what we have kept is a minus lens so we have to observe that which side is getting better and we have to see that mainly this white dot if patient says this side is better then we have to rotate the axis toward the 170 side if patient says this, this side is better that means we have to reduce the uh, axis toward the 10 side okay so say example patient says this is blurred and this is better that means 10 degree you have to rotate your lens uh, as a 10 degree to go for the 170 side so this is now 170 axis now the again the method it is the same but only thing handle should move towards the axis it should not be like 180 degree now you should be in the parallel to the axis of cylinder so now we can see that i have kept the parallel to that again we have to ask this this position look better or this position if patient says again this position is better that means you can see that this position means the white dot showing the again that side that means it has to move 160 side so let us move once again now the things is again is move to 160 angle and now you have to ask that again the same thing you have to move your handle also yes for the axis and ask that this position is good and this position each time patient responds you have to move 10 degree that particular minus side but when you come to reverse if patient say this side is better you can see this white is down and uh, white is down so you have to come towards the back side so since you have checked 170 uh, that time so you don't have to come again to 170 you can go to 165
so this is 165 we can come to 165 so this patient should respond correctly if your subjective refraction is correct now we will go for the power refine okay so for that you see say, say that this is uh, like uh, 165 we have refined the axis now we don't have to change the axis this is the permanent axis for that particular patient now for refining the power we should keep this dot to the power of the subjective axis okay this one and again if it shift like this it will be like that so now remember again that it is white is the minus if patient is accepting when when you have to refine that patient if this side is getting better if this side is getting better then you have to increase the minus if this side is getting better that means you have to reduce the minus okay so for this you don't have to worry about the handle now you have to worry about this dot has to be coincide with this axis okay so it should be the exactly same thing target should be the same and ask the patient whether this position is getting better or this position is uh, or this position is getting better if patient says both are getting blur that means whatever you have given in subjective power that is the correct one if patient says no this size side is getting slightly better than uh, this one then you have to increase this to 1.25 after changing 1.25 you can again same thing you process that and keep checking that until the patient says the both look the similar and then remove that all the JCC and go to 6 by 6 line and check that whether the patient is vision is reading 6 by 6 or not if you are increasing cylinder power more than 0.5 that means from 1 to you have changed to 1.5 that means you have to reduce your plus power uh, spherical power if that is minus 1 that means you have to go for the 0 0.75 it is that is plus 1 that means you have to go for the 1.25 that way and but finally have to do the subjective refraction again in that particular axis in that particular cylinder you have to uh, adjust the spherical power and that, that is the how you have to do the jcc power